Hey guys, welcome to a special edition of Chan Man's videos. Uh, today being Monday, and uh, lo and behold, after over a month and a half, the Grey's Shield set has finally arrived. Uh, this was produced early May and was shipped to me from Japan. Uh, May 2nd was the tracking date, and uh, thanks to Canada Post and their uh, ineptitude to deliver things on time, it was sitting there for over a month and a half. Uh, thanks to uh, Bandai, I think it's called the Bandai Online Shop. Um, they received it and shipped it right away. There was a tracking number, and uh, can't blame them for it. So that's a new place that I do. Uh, I've started pre-ordering and purchasing my premium Bandai kits from. This is the first kit I have uh, ordered. But like I said, uh, they gave me a tracking number that was dated May the 2nd and uh, because of Canada Post and the, the challenges they have with delivering things on time uh, it's, it's just been sitting there for a month and a half so uh, luckily it's come and uh, I've actually pre-ordered several other kits from them already and uh, I've changed the shipping address to my US PO box and hopefully it has a better um, I guess process time of getting everything uh, delivered uh, in a timely manner so this is a really cool box you see on the art here. You do get the one shield graze and the one standard graze. Uh, and it comes with the uh, option, I think it's weapon set maybe two or three, I don't remember the number, but you get the shoulder cannons. Uh, I've already opened it to uh, discard the plastic bags and uh, just to help avoid some of that noise. But for now, let's put the box to the side and let's get things going. Um, Although I've opened it, I actually haven't spent too much time studying the pieces and anything like that. Uh, this is a nice dark green. Um, it resembles very much the Tamiya paint that is racing green. So I, it's almost identical to PS22 if you wish to paint yours to match. I don't have any standard gray kit, so I don't know if it's the same uh, shade of green that they use or not. Um, but I think visually it looks a little darker. That one looks more of like an olive drab. So we get two of the two of the A runners, which is essentially just the exterior armor parts. We get two of the standard Gray's D runners with the battle axe and the rifle. So it's D1, I get two of those. What's next? We get two of the D2 runners, and that's the um, the arms, shoulders, elbows, and the um, graze reactors. So two of those. Uh, oh, we're getting to the the P-Bandai stuff, so let's just get through the regular stuff first. Two PC-002, and those are the polycaps and the joints. Uh, your two C-Runners, which are the, the... What is that thing called? I can't think of it. Their engine. Uh, so you get that one piece with the engine and the straps. Really, I haven't watched IBO in a while and I can't remember the terms anymore. And we get two Bs, which are the uh, the side, the back of the forearm and the feet, and as well as the Gray's face and the chest plate. And then, yeah, here we go. Um, here are the P Bandai pieces. So we're going to get the... A3. Uh, this one is this is the connector to the skirt and the rocket booster packs on the side. As as well, you get the space um, mobile worker. I painted mine uh, in Shino's colors for Ryusei, Ryusei Go One, so that's mine is painted in a Shino color. And what I'll probably do is paint this in the light blue or the gray one, uh, so that it resembles the one that. Um, Eugene used in uh, the early episodes, uh, I think episode two or three um, of season one. And then we also get the two pieces here for the shoulder mounting cannons. Uh, 
And then we get A4, which are the boosters that are attached to the side. Uh, it sh this, uh, these boosters allow the ground graze types, uh, ground type grazes to fly over water and hover over ground. Uh, it's just additional speed. When you see near, uh, I don't know if it's um, the third from the last episode when they're on Earth in, uh, uh, what is it called, uh, Yalahorn attacks the island. So you'll see these guys coming over the ocean wearing this gear. And then this is the A2. That is the shoulder mounted cannons. And then the mobile worker machine guns here as well. And up here, another A2. And this is also from the uh, early weapon option sets. Uh, you're going to get the lance for, um, I guess it's the one that you get that you would get from Gylio's uh, Schwabe Grace. And then you get the shield. And then you get a submachine gun so that it fits the lance pieces. And then the pièce de résistance, the main guy here that we're looking for, is the brand new H runner. So this is the brand new mold. You only get one of these, unfortunately. Um, so if you want to have multiple shield grays, well, this is the shield for the shield grays, uh, and this pike, a long pike or axe. Um, you're gonna have to buy two sets, which I thought was a real bummer. Um, and but that's marketing, and that's how uh, they're gonna do business. They're gonna give you regular grays, uh, so that you have to buy this one. And so this is a completely gray piece of shield. Um, from pictures online, it looks like the shield is supposed to be green. So I'm not sure if this actually is the right color. I don't know why they didn't mold it in the green that matches the armor. So luckily, uh, as I was saying, it is PS22 is an almost perfect match for that. I will do some more Googling just to make sure, but um, just going off the top of my head, my memory serves right. Uh, it is supposed to be green. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it is supposed to be green. And their problem the way to solve that is sticker, like literally. Here, put a giant sticker on that. Um, so I'm not going to be using the sticker. Uh, I'm not going to use either or any of these stickers because um, I can just paint everything. So here is a sticker sheet for the parts. And yeah, I guess, I guess the option, I mean, I don't know, get it. The shield is bigger. Why not mold it in green and give me a green weapon? That just... Uh, it's a head scratcher. But this is a very, very awesome looking shield. Um, let me see if I can zoom in and let you guys see the detail a little bit. So that is the front of the shield. The back of the shield. There's a long shaft and blade. And then these are just the face plates and the pieces um, that you would go for the shield gray's head. Once again, a big head scratcher why this isn't green, but like I said, they give you stickers to solve the problem. And that's the detail on the sticker. Okay, uh, we get our, we get one standard graze type instruction. Yeah, it looks more like an olive drab. And then for the premium bandai instructions, uh, you do get this printed one. And once again, this connects nicely to all premium bandai kits where you're gonna get this black and white instruction. Um, I'm sorry, I know I've been trying, I said I'd scan the, um, images but it's just been really busy both at home and at work that I haven't had time to do so but here is the color guide let me tilt that a little bit and so that's the mixture uh, please follow uh, the Facebook page uh, I can't promise that I'll get it up in the next few days or so, but um, my previous uh, premium Bandai kits that are in English, I have managed to scan 
and put uh, clearer pictures up where it's just cut out the proper part for this as well as for the um, uh, the premium Bandai Jigen. I haven't had the time to scan, so eventually those will get up there. But if you subscribe, sorry, not if you subscribe, if you like the page and follow us, which is Team Chan Man Toys, you will be able to, once you sign on Facebook, you'll get the notification. So uh, you can follow us there. And then uh, in regards to, uh, what is that? The Barbatos Lupus Rex. My, both my son and a few of the viewers actually have said, let's do a giveaway. So since I have three of them, uh, we'll be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway for the Barpo to Slipis Rex, but uh, I'll make a separate video to go over because I haven't thought about how we're going to do it. I don't want to just go, oh, here's 500 subscribers. Here you go. So uh, we'll work that out. I don't know if there's any um, YouTube lottery rules that I need to follow. And so I want to make sure I do the research and I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. So that's it for this video. Um, this was a great kit. It was not expensive. I pre-ordered it last year once they sent the announcement, and uh, yeah, it was it uh, was released on time, and it just took uh, a lot longer for it to arrive, uh, mostly due to uh, challenges of the Canada Post postage postal company, and uh, the challenges. Of, and I can blame them because I've experienced tons of delays with stuff uh, that I purchased uh, internationally. So. That's it for all the runners. Um, this is just a quick episode here um, for this kit. I'm excited. I was feeling a little bit dull and I had started building the grazed ground type. So to get this in, it's renewed sort of that uh, energy from building um, that I've lost from building so many IBO kits. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to make that time and uh, get these kits all built up and then eventually I should have a uh, graze patrol video <laughs> where I can just literally pop out uh, every single form of graze that I have built and created. You can still go to Bandai Online Shop. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by them at all. Uh, it's just a lot of one of the more popular questions I do get from viewers is where do I buy my premium Bandai? Uh, traditionally, it is from eBay uh, for older kits. And that's how I started getting premium Bandai all off eBay. Uh, Amazon, I'd be able to pick up a couple. And then, of course, when I went to Hong Kong on my vacation, finding that store that just had like almost every P Bandai uh, released um, probably within the last three to five years have not available walk in and buy those and then now with the new pre-orders uh, I do do my orders uh, now from the, uh, the I think it's just www.bandaionline.com and uh, yeah so this is my first purchase I made from them like I said it took forever to get here not their fault because I got an email their customer service followed up with me with an email uh, order confirmation and when I reached out to them saying hey I haven't heard anything they uh, just said you'll get it and they followed up with me so uh, pretty good customer service there other kits I have coming is like the Pixie the um, Tewa's EO frame sheet in uh, the wound wart and um, the new uh, McGillis Gray's uh, McGillis core grays and I think I've got maybe two or three more so I think I have close to six or seven uh, pre-orders coming up from them that uh, I'm looking forward to posting on uh, posting videos for uh, once this video is out the next videos I'm going to show will be uh, a few more Jagans as well as going to the Pro, uh, Bandai Pro Shop videos got some great content there especially with the Dynamis that thing is just insane so please stay tuned uh, I've pre-filmed six videos already so that gives me six weeks of uh, pre-shot pre -shot videos uh, that I will be able to put out while I'm working on building the kits themselves and I think that's about it so I'll put a link in the description for the Facebook page and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I enjoyed making it it's exciting to have finally received this guy and uh, yeah I'm trying to get back on schedule to posting one video per week uh, over the weekend this week was a little bit different put up three in a very short time frame uh, and uh, I think that's it anyways thanks so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel please subscribe give it a like and share the video thanks so much we'll see you guys again real soon